slice into that steak and I am shaking like a leaf. I need it to be blushing pink all the way through. I pull the cut piece away. Yeah, beautiful. I am just like, yeah, come on. Oh, it is so good. Jared, I think you could be in trouble. <laughs> what are you making now, Jared? I'm just about to fry off a little bit of kale. I think it's just going to give the dish a little uh, crispy element. Five minutes to go in this fish and eleven sliced. Hey, Lee, I need to get that yep. plating up, okay? Just three minutes. Okay, push, come on. Time's ticking away. I'm trying to get these slices as thin as I possibly can. Then you can it up against the side, yeah? and how well those potatoes came out. Sarah, good job. Oh, thank you. I think I gave Jared a run for his money today. But then I walk over and I'm looking at his dish. Beautiful little entree. Looks very refined. Whiting sashimi, that's like restaurant brain going on there. I, oh, I'm in for a challenge. I'm quite excited about the first uh, immunity cook of the season. Tough competition. Young chef of the year in uh, Jared de Blasi. And oh, yeah. uh, Sarah, really a, a newbie in the competition. Let's get the first dish in. Sashimi of whiting, rose bone dressing, avocado and condiments. Wow, that looks really delicate, doesn't it? Yeah, and, it's beautiful. And appetising. I mean, first thing is perfect plate for a perfect dish. Yeah, uh, it looks great. Uh, you know, thin slices of that beautiful white flesh of the fish. Mate, that is shaved within an inch of its life, that. Look at it. I'd be really keen to see how it goes with that sauce. Yeah, it's interesting that, that idea of uncooked fish with um, a cooked fish broth is a, an yeah. interesting idea. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's hope it's got bags of flavour. Let's have a taste. Fresh, it's clean, it's got some massive, you know, punches of flavour and yuzu of avocado, of chilli and yeah, I like that. Whoever cooked this amateur or professional, it's come out of a fridge at home. Mm. You know, no fancy equipment. You know, I mean that's wonderful, isn't yeah. it? And I love that sort of contrast between that raw plate of food and obviously there's a, some pickled onions there, which are lovely, mm, yeah. against the this sort of cooked, roasted browned sauce. Yeah. This is almost like a ponzu, isn't it? This is a supercharged little pot of joy. <laughs> <laughs> the little things like pickled onions, the, the little slice of cornichon, um, the kale that, that provides a kind of a, an interesting texture against this, the slipperiness of that fish. Yeah, it's a very elegant plate of food. And I think what's interesting about, about this dish is it shows how close food in restaurants and at home is. You know, it's the same ingredients that make a great home dish as make a great restaurant dish. Yeah. Right, shall we score? While I score, though, could you pass that little pot of joy down? Yes. <laughs> right, let's get the next dish in. Ooh. Exo steak with pickled mushrooms and potato mash. 
it actually looks quite good. I like the idea of exo steak. That's a great idea. But with mashed potato, I'm not so sure. Yeah, but, but I mean, you'd also argue that, say, you know, sashimi and, and cornichon is a pretty weird combination as well. You've got to remember, this is the first immunity challenge too, and the food looks pretty, pretty damn good. good, isn't it? Beef's cooked really well, so you know, I mean, that's that's fantastic. The components individually are really good cooked. There's a, a good cook's hand in this dish. You know, the beef's cooked beautifully well. It's caramelised well. Lots of flavour in both the sauces, and connected the flavours between the mushroom and pickles and onions and the exo sauce. Got that. There's uh, mango pickle in both of them, so connects the two. In terms of all the elements, good, creamy, smooth, mash, really well cooked beef, um, and the flavours of the chilli don't dominate. But it shows a deft hand. Interesting. Yeah, mm. it is. Both dishes are really, yeah. really tasty, and both of them really good cooks. Yeah. It just really depends which one you prefer to yeah. go back for. First immunity challenge of 2017, and we thoroughly enjoyed that tasting. It was good to see there was some great technique and some great balance on offer. Shannon, how did it go in the kitchen? Really well. I think there was a fair bit of nerves in the kitchen today, but I think we calmed them down pretty quickly, and 75 minutes went extremely fast. <laughs> so, who cooked which dish? Jarrett? It's sashimi of whiting, roast bone dressing, and avocado puree. And Sarah, that meant you cooked? The exo marinated steak with a mashed potato and pickled mushrooms. So let's start with you, Sarah, and reveal your scores. Are you ready? Yes. I loved that mash. It was smooth, it was creamy. However, I didn't really feel that the mash and the exo sauce went together. So, I gave you... a 7 out of 10. For me, it was the cuisson. The steak was cooked beautifully, nice and medium rare. Well done. Sarah, I scored your dish. Eight out of ten. Sarah, that pairing of mash with the chilli and the oil, that is a pretty out there combination. But I loved it. I scored your dish. Eight out of ten. So, Sarah, that means you've got a total score of 23 out of a possible 30. You've set the bar. Jared, that's the score to beat. You need 24 or more to win. Yuzu, pickled onions, gherkins, raw whiting, fish bones. Who would have thought? It could make such a delicious dish. I scored your dish. Nine out of ten. Jared, I love the contrast between that raw fish and cooked sauce. I scored your dish. A nine out of ten. Gee, Jared, these boys are generous with their scores, aren't they? 
So it comes down to me, I suppose, doesn't it? And Jared, you know what? I thought that was a light, bright, clean dish with massively punchy flavours in that sauce. And that's why I, too, gave you a 9 out of 10. <laughs> So, Jared, that means, of course, that you win the first immunity challenge. And, Sarah, you've got what it takes, I think, the right attitude that if you find yourself in this place again, you are going to take it out. And it's a lesson learned. Jared, beautiful, beautiful dish. You deserve the victory. Thanks, so, well done. Thank you. A big congratulations to Sarah, because I thought she was right up there and uh, she had me worried there for a minute. I missed out on the pin today, but today was an absolute dream for me. I had so much fun. I loved it.